Well, hello, 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 <coughs> my friends. <coughs> Excuse me. That should start to begin to explain why I've been absent this entire week with no videos, guys. I came back from Sacramento. I mean, this started literally on the plane. I have been miserably sick. I got the flu. People, wear your masks when you're out. You don't want this. Trust me on it. It's been awful. I'm on Tamiflu. I am on a Z pack. And this is Friday. I came down with this. I started coming down with it on Sunday. I thought actually it was an allergy attack on Sunday, but it was actually the flu. And I am still running fevers. I'm actually going to call the doctor after I get done with this video to see if there's something stronger, what we could do, because I'm not getting better. I have been flattened. I have been in bed all week. I'm still like right now to do this video is going to take everything I've got just because I'm really short of breath. Um, I'm, and I'm just so, so fatigued. I'm, I'm, I'm miserable and I'm sorry. Like you need to hear this, but I did want to at least let you guys know why I had disappeared again. Um, I'm just really, really, really sick. So it might be a little sparse for the next week or so at least because I haven't done anything but sleep or try to sleep and watch silly movies on Netflix. Um, I haven't had any last, yes, last night was the first time I've had any energy to think about anything. Um, Steve brought up this little rolling table I have and scrapbooking supplies. So I may work on something. I may take this whole thing rig up there and tape from up there. I don't know. Well, we'll see, but I, 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 you know, I want to make stuff, but I'm just, I don't know. We're, we're going to take this a day at a time. So, you know, lots of chicken soup, lots of warm things to drink. Um, lots of things to drink for that matter. I'm not very hungry. Um, it's been great for weight loss this week. Um, I mean, I've lost another, what, six pounds, I think, since I left on the trip. Um, I mean, for what it's worth, I had a wonderful, wonderful visit with my daughters. It was wonderful, you know. And it always is when I'm getting together with them. It's just, you know, I love them. They're my babies. They will always be my babies. It doesn't matter that they're in their 30s. They're still my babies. And we got to walk the property on the last day. Because the, the funny thing is we arrived in San Francisco. Um, and actually, no, not San Francisco, Sacramento. And we were supposed to fly in. But guess who was a casualty of the, of the Southwest debacle? Yep, yours truly. So we ended up, it took, literally, we were like the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. We ended up being able to get the last two tickets out of LA Union Station up to Sacramento on the train, on the Amtrak. But it's not a whole train, so, and Steve arranged for us to get a, a shuttle, because my daughter originally was going to take us to Ontario Airport. You know, we were going to drive to her house and leave her, our car there, and then she was going to drive us. Well, that didn't work out, obviously. So, um... We are, so we ended up, he ended up getting a shuttle and then, and our, mind you, our train was leaving at five in the morning. So our shuttle was picking us up at like 3.15 and they call us a little before three and tell us that they couldn't arrange for a driver. I mean, they didn't have a driver available for us. So they were going to Uber us to the train station, hence the car. So we Ubered to Union Station. From Union Station, we got on a bus to Bakersfield and Bakersfield, we got on a train to Stockton. California, any Big Valley fans out there that, yeah, same Stockton. And then from Stockton, which is only a little over an hour outside of Sacramento, we took another bus in to Sacramento. It took us all day. We got on a bus at 5 a.m. We got off a bus at 2 p.m. Then we went to go see Straight No Chaser with my daughters, which was their Christmas present or part of it. We had an excellent time. And then we just visited. So we got to see the, the house and the property that my daughter Tatiana bought, which is where we're going to be building on ultimately. We spotted our spot where our home will go. It was wonderful. We saw deer because deer hang out on her property. It's just, you know, it's, it was magical. I identified 4,000 different um, uh, fungi. I mean, it was, it was fun. In fact, you know, at the end of this video, I may, I may um, include some pictures so you guys can see what we saw. I mean, it was just absolutely magical for us. So we had an awesome, awesome time. And then I come home sick. <sighs> And here I am. So I'm sorry I, um, that I've taken so long. Let's start with seeing what I got. I really am excited, believe it or not. I just don't have the energy to show it. So please forgive me for that. 
So let's get this box open. This is, I'm fairly, fairly confident, the total package in the new box it comes in. Because I believe they're not going to be sending them in the same boxes based on what I'm seeing on other videos um, from Spellbinders. So um, let's see what happens. You know, we'll see what I'm getting. There is mine. So what is it? It is... Oh, no. This is... I take it back. I am so wrong. This is one of my orders from the sale. This is the warehouse sale. So I take it back. So that box is still to come. They have been super delayed with that package. I mean, amazingly delayed. So I still haven't gotten it yet. So these are things I ordered, not the total package. So I may play with these stuff. And by the same notice, please forgive me. I did not finish the 12 days of Christmas. I may still finish them. I, you know... I will get those done and, and shot and put up because I'm determined to finish it. And I will get the giveaway for my thousand viewers um, put together. I'm going to again ask for forgiveness. You guys have been so supportive and so wonderful to me. And here again, I have flaked on you and let you down. And uh, all I can ask for is forgiveness. I'm, But please know I, it's because I've just been so miserably sick. It's just it's taken everything. This flattened me. You know, I just came down and Nan was like, well, hello, how do you feel? And I'm like, I have been, I go, I barely had the energy to come down the stairs and come here and do this video because this box came. So anyway, let's go see what else, what I ordered, because now I really can't remember what I ordered. <coughs> oh God, forgive me. Uh, you know what? Hang on a second before I keep talking. Let me get something to drink. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. I am back with my water bottle, with my yummy Welch's grape water, you know, grape flavored water that I cannot taste yet. I lost my sense of taste at least three days ago, three to four days ago, and it hasn't come back yet. Boo. Which is partly why I'm not hungry. I've not eaten a lot because... So which is it, guys? Is it feed a fever, starve a cold, or is it starve a fever, feed a cold? I don't remember. <coughs> I have to look that up. Okay. Let's pull things out of here. We'll just pull them out little bits at a time. So I ordered this little cardinal because it's stinking adorable. Tell me it's not. I defy you to tell me that this little tweet cardinal is not the cutest thing ever. Don't know how I missed it before, but I caught it now and I caught these fairly inexpensively. So I got, I lucked out. So I got a cardinal. I ordered some pieces from Santa's Lane because I really like the paper. So I went ahead and ordered another pack because it was like three bucks, I think, if that. And then a package of the ephemera because, again, I really, really liked it. And there were several cards I saw of Pistris. If, that they're worth, if, if it's worth making one, it's worth making four of them, right? <laughs> <coughs> this is the reason I haven't been making videos because I talk and I cough like crazy. So we're going to try to get through this quickly. Okay, what did I get? Oh. I got completer pieces for the parcel and post, um, the mailbox. So this one is love, which is good because Valentine's is coming up. We're already, everybody's already, everything's up already for Valentine's Day at all the craft stores. We know that. Um, and I can't find all, and it's not like I have a lot, but I have. And I can't find. So once I feel better, probably next week sometime, I'm going to go into the garage. And if it's not in the garage, then I've got to go to storage and find, um, the dies, my Valentine's dies, because I can't find them right now. But I did get these as a completer set, so it does. So you can make love with signs. So I don't know if you can tell that there's little sticks right there that hold up the letters, and of course a little envelope with a little the with a little heart. Really awesome. The heart, the envelope is not here. The hearts are. It the envelope is part I think of the main <coughs> piece, and I do have it. That might be something I sit there and do in bed. My goodness, I didn't even think about that. I could lay there with my lap tray and be entering stuff in Evernote. Oh my goodness, I have something to do at least. Um, another completer piece for parcel and post, and it is the Christmas piece. It has a really cute bow, some evergreen, the, the candy cane, and it'll make it striped. Mistletoe, holly leaves, I mean, everything, berries. Everything and it doesn't it doesn't have the peppermint? It does yes it does. There look at this little spiral to make peppermint candies and peppermint um <coughs> candy canes. God I'm sorry you guys. 
but yep, I got this. I'm excited, as excited as I could be, considering I feel like death. Um, and now I got a bunch of the pieces from the November, I think this is October, November's new release. Um, for, and this is Folk Song I Loved, and this is very Scandinavian. I used to be a toll painter, so this reminds me of Zostovo. Um, just that old style folk painting from Scandinavia. This is where this all came from. So I recognized it dead away because before I was a, cra um, a paper crafter, I was a toll painter. I have a lot of pieces that I painted. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to snarfle on the, on the camera for you. Um, but so I did get this one and it's big. Look at that. It is way bigger than I anticipated it being. So I'm rather impressed. It's like, woo, yay. And that's about as much excitement as you're going to get out of me. So now the flowers, I believe, and I ordered the flower sets. So I think those are separate. But look how pretty it make it. And they did it with the heart background. Um, So it could be a Valentine. Hmm, we'll have to play with that. Okay, what have I got here? Um, An embossing folder. Oh, look, it is, this one is Stargazer. So it is stars. You can't see this. Let me, hang on. I'm going to open it up. Let me pull it out. Let's see, and I'm going to put a piece of colored paper behind it. Oh, here, we'll just use, we're just going to cheat right now. We'll use Anna Griffin for our help. There you go. Can you see it now? It is all different size stars. It's, so it's Stargazer. I loved it. So I'm like, yes, I'm going to have that, and we'll figure out what we're going to do with it later. So that's Stargazer. And it was one of the ones that were like two or three bucks. So, okay, we're going to put Anna to the side in case we need her again because I was not going to get up and search. I, it's all I can do to be sitting here. Um, next is clear stamps. Again, this is Clint, Clint, Christmas memories and clothes. Again, I believe this goes, if I'm not wrong, oh, look, it's the it's the matching. It's supposed to go with the, um, the tags that I have here. Hang on. They should be here. They are here, right? Yep, they sure are. See? It's funny. I bought the tags first, and then I get the sentiments that go in there. But now I have them. So I think that's really cute. Do not shake. I think that's adorable. Just keep wrapping. Love from all of us. I love these. These are really stinking adorable. I don't think all of them. See, they don't all fit here. But guess where they do fit? <laughs> Where's the other one? Our friends here. So see, it works. These sentiments are going to fit like that one. Season's greetings. Just barely fits. the. I don't even think it fits, honestly. It, but it'll fit in the, this one. So see? Yay! I have completed the set now. Very, very, very cute. I'm happy I got it. And apparently, since one was not enough, I ordered two. So, guess what's getting added to the pile of stuff I'm setting aside for my giveaway? Another one! Yay! For Myra being a dork. See? Even, you know, in some things, it's just perfect. I'm not going to return it. It wasn't that expensive, so whatever. Hold on a second. Mm. I just really needed that sip. And then I ordered Let's Dance because it's cute. And this one is obviously meant to be a little boy, I think. But it's so cute. It has either the frothing mug of beer or you can make it um, a cream soda or a, oh my gosh, what's the word? Root beer. There we go. Root beer. If you are not, if a teeto, teeto tailor, to teetotaler, whatever, you don't drink alcohol or the first prize. I love it. So I thought this was perfect. So I got it because I thought this would be cool to send to my grandsons when they do something very, very cool. So I thought that was really, really cool. So, yep, we got that one, too. And I did a lot of filling of stuff I'd been holding off buying on this on this purchase. I remember. So I got this because I really, really like the long stems, holly berries. So this is sealed Holly Springs. I think these are all, I don't think any of these sold out. I think they're still available. So, um, you can look and watch for another sale. I think the New Year's Day sale just ended, but they'll have another one. They're going to try to move a product off before they have to do count it for inventory. So, um, always keep a lookout for their sales. And then you have to determine what your price point and what you're willing to pay for things. You know, on, some, on all the things I got, I was willing to pay the price. So I said, oh, heck, you know, we're going to get this. So I really thought it was really, really cute because I thought I was going to get, well, well, it took forever to get here. I ordered this almost a month ago. This was early, early in December when I ordered this. My total package has for December 
has still not arrived. Or is it November? It still hasn't arrived. So no, the December one, because the January just, or I ordered, so I'm going to email them and say, hi, I'd like to do a video with your stuff if you will let, if you will get it to me. So we shall see. I'm going to set that aside. And then I haven't been buying nesting dies lately, you know, at least shaped ones. But I went ahead and got this one because it made the look of a window. And I saw it used several ways that way. And I have the branch set for this as well. So I went ahead and there, there are a lot of them and they're big. So we can make tags out of them because I have a million dies. I have a hole puncher for crying out loud that I can punch a hole to make these into tags. So you can never have too many shaped nesting dies. So I'm all about these. Very, very cool. I'm really excited. I may not sound excited. And for that, I apologize. <coughs> but that's because I'm dying. Okay. The rumors of my demise may not be too greatly exaggerated on this one. My goodness. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I love the, um, the embossing folder they use as a background. This, I might have to steal it because this will make, it's meant to be for Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas, but I think it makes a great winter card, a great winter birthday. If anybody has a January birthday, look how stinking cute these little birdies are. So it comes, well, I mean, it comes with look, that little flurry right there. So is it, you know what they did? They embossed with this die, I think. I could be wrong. But my suspicions are that this was embossed with the dies. <gasps> Ooh, sounds like a video, doesn't it? Ooh, I'm gonna have to do this. But I love these little birdies, their adorableness. Reaches no limits. Oh, I'm so glad I actually ended up ordering these. Oh my gosh, see? I'm already inspired or I already know what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, next, I got the hills. Because I wanted hills. Someday, even though I showed you guys in another video earlier last week or whenever, that I just cut a hill out and I should just continue to do that, but I'm a dork. So I bought these hills because they were very inexpensive. So I got the hills that, uh, with the, I didn't get the bear. I never, the bear just like, he's cute, but I'm like, meh. And if I'm going to be meh about something that I know, I might, I'll only use it once and then it'll sit here until I decide to give it away. So I figured I'd just let somebody else buy it. Although maybe I was a bad person. Maybe I should have done that and then given it away. All right. Honestly, what am I thinking? Oh, this one I'm excited about. You know what, guys? Give me a second. I need to blow my nose. Hold on a second. Okay, that should keep me from snarfling for five minutes. Um, I'm so sorry, guys, for that. But I ordered these. That's Tis the Season or Nordic Ornaments. I don't know. I thought I had ordered. I think this was one of the part of my one of my orders that I ordered my friend Taro, and it wasn't in stock right then, and I never got it. So now I got it on sale. Woohoo! Bonus. These are nice size ornaments. This year, this was the year for ornament dies for me. I probably ordered every ornament die that was out there. Because I have no self-control. What can I say? But, I mean, in this case, they did all three of them with this, with this die right here. But there's this other one that's equally beautiful. So, yeah, this, I mean, I'll hopefully, I'll, like I said, I'm planning on finishing off my 12 Days of Christmas and then do the, the giveaway. So, give me, you know, give me the, the recover this week and I will get on it. Please, please forgive me again, guys. Okay, what have we got here? I have no idea what this is because this is unrecognizable. But when I flip it, <gasps> it's this one. So, this is the one I'm positive they use. Let's hang on. Let's go. Let's go rifling through the pile here. I could be wrong. I could be, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Let's go through here. Where is it? There we go. Is it? Are the flowers here? No, I was wrong. So I wonder where these flowers are because these are cute. Okay, I was wrong. But again, very reminiscent of Scandinavian folk art. Um, very much I recognize this from my toll painting days. So I loved these and, and I love the embossing behind it. I love the colors they use, that dark blue. You know, blue is my favorite color and teal is right behind it but it has all of these little flowers. Actually, let me take it back. It is here. They did use this dye because here it is. Here's the flower. Look at it. Here's the flower. That's it right there. And then they use these little antennae. So I was right. I was right. It's right there. So ha 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 ha. Okay. But aren't they cute? They're just really, really, really pretty. And of course now they're going to be 
marking them down. So guys, watch the sales, okay? So there, because this will be on sale again, I'm sure. Um, next is uh, the reindeer. This was one I really, really wanted before Christmas to include it in my 12 days of Christmas. I got it after Christmas, so I'm still going to, you know, but now disease and almost death, I swear. I feel like death warmed over. Um, has saved me to be able to include this <coughs> in the 12 days of Christmas. Give me one second. Uh, I can feel my throat dry up. Although my throat is a lot less sore. My throat has been on fire for days. And that's what really, really kept me away from the camera because I couldn't even talk. It hurt so much. Um, but I have, I'm positive I have this embossing folder already. But isn't it cute? It is just adorable. And I have dreams of putting it on a wobbler. So I, it might not, the head, I'll be honest with you, might not be big enough. Those wobblers are pretty big. But I also have a die that makes the mechanism for the wobbler. So it doesn't mean that I, and I still can't have a wobbler. Just watch. I will not be, you know, I, I will not be stopped. I can make this happen because I want to make that head wobbly. But, oh, it's so, so cute, isn't it? Okay, what else did I get here? Oh, I think I complete, went ahead and completed my, the, the, um, the bird's nest. Because I have all of the, I think now with this one was the only die I was missing from all the bird houses. Not that I've used any of them, but I'm obsessive with some things and this is one of them. So I collected all of the, the nesting, all of the, the, um, oh my God, I'm sorry. I can't even think guys. Um, all of the dies. Oh, and this, look at this. It makes a cute little narrow bow. Is it shown here? It isn't, but that's a bow and it's, you know, it's not the usual fat one. It's a narrow one. That's bonus. Very cool. And then we have a bell here. Yeah. I'm going to have to really keyword these. I'm going to add bows and like bells. And maybe that's something I can do from bed is do my Evernote video because I've been wanting to show you guys. I am not the expert at all by any stretch of the imagination. I'm still learning how to do stuff on it, but I can at least show you the basics because I think it's a free software and it's awesome. I'm not going to lie. If you're obsessive collector like I mean, it's going to be a bit of a production entering stuff. It'll take, you know, it's going to take the better part of this year for me to get everything entered probably because I'm going to do it in fits and starts. But what I do is everything I buy new gets entered immediately or almost immediately because do I have that? I go through the little pile of stuff that I had to enter. I did. I was good. So the last stuff I bought has already been entered into Evernote. Yay me. So now I'm going to take, put it in a little bin and take it up with me and enter it on the, I'll go upstairs. I'll work on my surface and, um, and enter all that stuff in on Evernote. Okay, what have I got? A 3D embossing folder. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Like, I don't have already, I think at least four or five snowflake embossing folders. But this one is, well, it actually is kind of large. But the thing is now, this gives me the versatility of using it on anything. Because the other ones are all strictly A2 card embossing folders. So this one is all the way up. I can do a slim line off of this. I can do a five by seven. That was absolutely the number one reason <coughs> I got this and why I will continue to buy Spellbinders 3D embossing folders. Um, just really, really amazing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. So yeah, the last of this is another of the embossing folders because they're big. What else did I get? Oh, I just got this really leafy one. Very spring. It's called Leafy. Hello. But I really like that. I thought this would be very versatile coming into, you know, spring cards, Easter, anything that you're going to do floral. This would make a really great background uh, behind. So hence, I got it. So, um... And I'm unimaginative today about chitter chatter, so you're gonna have to forgive me, guys. But this is it. This is my haul from one of their sales earlier in December. I hope you enjoyed this, even though I'm miserable sick. Um, and if you did, and you want to drop me a note, by all means, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and then drop me a comment. I haven't been on the computer all this week, but I am gonna get on today. And probably answer um, and go about and clearing out my email, which is probably going to be horrific, and answering comments. So forgive me for that. 
but I do read all your comments. Sometimes I have been really up on it, and now disaster struck again. But I will get caught up with you guys. But I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. I am sorry that I flaked on you guys. Uh, you're, I'm going to beg for your forgiveness. And I will be back, I promise, with more project videos. I mean this, I'm going to go through this stuff and really do some, put my thinking cap on and see what I make with this stuff. All right, guys. So I'm going to let you go now because I'm wiped. This took everything out of me. I'm going to go back to bed. Um, so until the next one, guys, go out there, make beautiful things. And don't forget, we're all a little mad here. So come, craft the madness with me, okay? Bye.